Okay, what's going on folks? I know I've been slacking big time in December, but what are we doing today? Fishing off the bank. Gonna try it for a little while. The lake's down. A lot of the places that I was catching them, you can't get to by boat now up to Hawassee. So I think it'd be actually easier to get to some of these log jams and bridges by road right now. But I've been in there building kind of a prototype project that me and a friend of mine are gonna start working on. We're a long way away from getting it finished or anything like that. We're kind of just still brainstorming. But the more I mess with fishing stuff, the more I want to go fishing. So that's what we're doing today. Stay tuned. I'm gonna try to catch a giant in some of these backwaters. It's only been about 30 minutes and I'm back already. That means I forgot something pretty important. Anybody out there that wants to record using some kind of action cam, have a battery pack and try to take it with you. Never know what you're gonna see in these woods around the lake, man. Over here in the juice now. Man, it looks good. I fished all this from the boat when the water was a little bit higher. Ton of current coming out of this little creek. I really had the wrong bait. Alright guys, check this place out. I came in here before on the boat when the water was a little bit fuller than this and whenever it was all the way full. And you can see there's tons of stumps out here. I came all the way to this bridge right here on plane, like 100% on plane, and right around that corner there's tons of huge, like, looks like cypress stumps, they're big around stumps right in the middle, they're probably like two foot under the water, and I had to come right across them on plane. But anyways, I just ran down it with a chatterbait, there's tons of current coming out here, the water's crystal clear, I'm sure it's very cold, We're about to go down there and flip a bit, so stay tuned. Man, I hope I got you at a good angle. Check out how good this crap looks. Just a hair too shallow I believe man it looks good so much current ripping across it I'm sure the water back here is super cold coming out of this creek main river is probably 50 back here is probably 42 or so I mean it's coming straight out of a creek out of a shallow creek that's fresh and flowing come off Come on. I had him for a second. Come on. Dang, dumb it, man. Man, I worked hard for that sucker. Y'all better be able to see him. That's a big hook in that little fish. I walked back and forth in that little trail five or six times probably. Finally got over here where there's one at. Okay, right now my fuse is about this big. I broke off everything. Like, I've got a chatterbait left and a Ned rig. I'm gonna try to rig this Ned rig up. We listen, throw it around here for a second. 
If only I had anything else besides a damn Ned Rig. Okay guys, Tokyo rig getting big, punch shots getting big. I'm gonna show you the perfect way to rig a bait right here. It's top secret, only here in East Tennessee. Check it out. Just joking, went to a gas station. I broke off every hook, every weight I've got. That's the only weight they had that was a 3 8 or bigger. And that's the only hooks they had that was bigger than a one all crappy hook. So that's what we got to fish with for a while. Finna catch one on it, gonna be pretty cool. How about that? <laughs> Got me one. Look at what kind of rig I got going on. <laughs> I caught one on that. Just spotted an old stump I didn't see a while ago. Golly. Another one though on the old East Tennessee rig. Nice one. Real nice one. There we go. Awesome. Look at that rig. Look at that. <laughs> Gotta take a picture of that with my phone. Nice one. Look how pretty these fish are, man. They're absolutely beautiful in this crystal clear water like this. I'm pretty sure this was a different one than the one I just missed, but Nice one. Gone. Ugh. I was all out of position. Jaw, he nailed it on the way down that time. Come on, cold hands, work. Work, work, work. He don't really want to. He got it again. Oh, I lost him. Yeah, I had a bow on my line, so I didn't get a real good hook set on him. All right, folks, just got home. Soaked. Hoodie's wet, pants are wet, socks are wet, shoes wet, hands are frozen. My hat got wet, so I took it off, letting it dry. But anyways, caught three or four. Had a bunch of bites today, actually. Uh, didn't connect on that many of them and lost a few, but had a lot of bites from the bank. More than I expected, really, by caught fewer than I expected. But anyways, hope y'all saw that last bait I was throwing. I went in that gas station. All they had, it was right on the river. All they had was that one three eight ounce weight that was like lead and like tear your line up, like terribly poured. Then they had that one big red gamakatsu hook. It was actually a pack of them. Five volt gamakatsu offset red hooks. So I rigged that up and actually caught two fish on that and had three or four more bites on it. So it's pretty cool little, uh, transition from what I normally do into that improvise and catch a couple still but anyways if you like that video 
leave a like, leave a comment. As always, hit that sub button. The reason I want to get out here in the rain like that is because y'all guys are subbing so fast. It's growing very quickly. And if you like these videos, share them. See y'all.